If you're taking the CIE A-Level Math Science Zone 9 Probability and Statistics 1 exam in May June 2025, then this video is for you. I've analyzed 14 of your most recent papers to identify key trends and in this video we're going to break them down so you know exactly what to expect. And if you stick around until the end, I've got a special guest paper just for you. I'm Tokuzo Ganri, I graduated high school with straight A stars and for the past two years I've been helping students like you do the same. If you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed, or unsure where to start, I've created a complete course that streamlines everything with step-by-step -step videos, interactive quizzes, and an exclusive student community to keep you on track. You can get access to it by clicking the first link in the description. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe, and let's dive right in. We're going to break this down topic by topic, identifying the key questions you should focus on for each topic, starting off with representation of data. The four possible representations of data. The only problem is that each paper has on average just one representation. In terms of frequency, the two most popular are your stem and leaf diagram and your cumulative frequency graph. Cambridge always tries to rotate these representations of data so that there's a different one in each sitting. However, I have noticed that the last three June papers for variant 2 all had a stem and leaf diagram. So my hunch is that a stem and leaf diagram question shows up in the June series. However, Cambridge are always trying to break these trends, so for that reason, it actually might not show up. Your other two representations are your box and whisker plot and your histograms. The box and whisker plot rarely comes, but I get the feeling that it might come in combination with the stem and leaf diagram question in this June series. As for the histogram, it hasn't showed up in the last five papers, so this is also a good chance for them to bring it back. Just make sure you're comfortable with all four representations of data because it really could be any of them. And the other question that could come up under this topic is your coded data question but it rarely comes. Moving on to permutations and combinations. This is one of the more difficult topics in stats one. Typically what you get is an arrangements question and a combinations question. However, in recent times, it seems that the traditional combinations question is out of favor. This is because Cambridge has been pushing this probability question that involves the use of permutations and combinations. As for arrangements, this is one of the most popular questions in Stats 1. It has appeared in all of the last 14 papers. And in the last few papers, the emphasis has been on the arrangement of letters. So go through that. There's a good chance it comes up. Looking at probability, the most dominant question will be your conditional probability question. Sometimes it comes with a tree diagram, sometimes it doesn't, but just make sure you're good with conditional probability. Another question you find under this topic is your independent events question. However, it appears very infrequently, but you could make the case that that's even more reason for it to show up in this June series. Discrete random variables is one of the most essential topics in stats one and for good reason. It consists of three main questions that appear in almost every paper. That's your probability distribution table question, binomial distribution question, and your geometric distribution question. The probability distribution table question has appeared in all 14 of the last 14 papers. Similarly, the binomial distribution question has also appeared in all 14 of the last 14 papers. And the geometric distribution question has appeared in 12 of the last 14 papers. Clearly, this is a very high scoring topic, so make sure you give it the attention it deserves. There's a very good chance that all three of its questions come in the June exam session. Finally, we have the normal distribution. Along with discrete random variables, this is the most essential topic in all of Stats 1. It has three main questions. The first one being the textbook question where you're evaluating a probability and you have to standardize and then use your tables to find that probability. It's usually followed up by a question where you're given some percentages and then you have to use the tables in reverse to find some value. This question has appeared in all of the last 14 papers, so prepare for it. The second question is your find mu or sigma question. It's typically a five marker if you're finding both mu and sigma, then three marks if it's only sigma. And it is quite popular. 11 of the last 14 papers had it. I'd say be wary of the five mark question where you have to find both mu and sigma because it can get a bit tricky. You have to use your tables in reverse and eventually you end up with two equations in terms of mu and sigma and then you solve those two equations simultaneously. If you have no idea of what I'm talking about then you definitely need to check out this question. The third and final question under the normal distribution is the normal approximation question. 
question. It constantly shows up with five marks and it has appeared in all of the last 13 papers. So it's definitely coming. Be ready for it. And one thing to note, at AS level, the only approximation you do is the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. So if a question comes saying use a suitable approximation, it really means use a normal approximation to the binomial distribution. But of course, be cautious and just make sure that your conditions are satisfied. Make sure that your NP is greater than 5 and NQ is also greater than 5. So putting it all together, here's a list of all the priority questions for the 9709 CIE A-Level Maths Probability and Statistics 1 May-June 2025 exam. Stem and leaf diagrams, cumulative frequency graphs, arrangements, probability with permutations and combinations, tree diagrams and conditional probability, all of discrete random variables, and all of your normal distribution. Now, as promised, if you've made it to the end of this video, I have something special for you. Using all the trends that we've analyzed, my own intuition, and insights from Cambridge examiners, I have created a guest paper for the probability and statistics one May June 2025 exam. Think of it as the exam before the exam, a way to give yourself an unfair advantage over your peers. So if you really want to get those top grades, don't miss out. Grab your copy now. Use the link in the pinned comment down below. I wish you the very best in your exam. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends so that the threshold is high. All the best in your exam. Good luck.